Hello friends, I'm Olivia. Welcome back to Cave Story Plus. We were about to head to the egg corridor to save Sue. But we've been to the egg corridor before and it wasn't too bad then. Surely it can't be too bad now. The, the evil doctor has kidnapped all the Mimiga. This is not how the egg corridor looked last time we were here. There was a violent explosion all of a sudden. Everything was like this after I came back around. What the heck is going on? Yes, what indeed. On the attack, right? Uh, there's so many sneaky ones. the booster. Keep forgetting. Now these spikes will really hurt if they land on me. If I'm right, this is... Oh! No, this is Cthulhu's house. But this was a different room. There's a room coming up with dragons in it. But we don't know there's dragons in it until later. Ouch! a big question. How greedy do I want to be? Because if I get that chest... The dragons show up. A cold breeze blows through. Safe point at least. I would have liked a, uh, a health recharge. Is 
That was sneaky. I died. I died again. No, that would have been so bad. <gasps> There's a refill station. Okay, okay. Let's go. <gasps> the egg's gone. Text appears on screen. Incubation successful. Who's over there? Oh, it's you. I didn't know if you were safe or not. I'm the only person here. After you took off to San Zone, we sped up our we sped up preparations for securing an escape. It was then that misery showed up. Sue was taken away, and Professor Booster he disappeared somewhere. The doctor has apparently acquired the flower seeds, but I'm not blaming you. The doctor's victory was certain from the moment he acquired the demon crown. It's only a matter of time before his Mimiga army is ready to attack the surface. If that does happen, it'll be futile to try to defeat the doctor, even for you. You have no choice but to run from this place. Anyway, an escape is possible, but only by using a flying dragon. That's why I came here, all on my own, for a flying dragon that I need hatched safely. Want to escape with me? Now, if we say yes, the game ends, and we escape, and we don't know what happens to Sue. We don't know what happens to Curly, or any of the other Mimica that the Doctor has kidnapped. But we can escape right now, and robot protagonist will be just fine. But we're not going to do that. I see. Truth be told, there is one way you can change the Mimica back into their original state. Destroy the island's core. But the island may collapse if you do destroy the core. It is too dangerous a choice for you to make. Is it too dangerous a choice for you to make? Either way, I don't know where to find the call. If you really want to try and do it, then I'll wait for you. But I may need to flee the island at any time if it gets too dangerous for me. So now we climb. This big old wall on the outside. And if you have lousy platforming skills like me, 
you can die here a lot, or you can get real lucky. I've never been able to successfully use this thing, and I don't expect this time to be any different. This I present to you, the challenger. In anticipation of your determination, show me your best. No. <laughs> this is the best I can do. kill me. I'm a human. I was turned into a mimicker by magic. Huh? You mean you're not a killer robot? You startled me pretty badly by coming in so suddenly. Are you here to save us? I'm Ido. I'm one of the humans who came to study the island. Misery gave me this lovely new Mimiga appearance. I could probably run away, but take a look at me and how I am now. I'm stuck. You must have climbed all the way up the wall from the outside. I'm quite a capable engineer, but I have also an innate fear of heights. I shouldn't have come to such a place like this, a floating island. Thank you. 
Okay, there's nothing we can do there. Where we go? The doctor from the surface is using the mimica of this island to grow red flowers for him. Similar kinds of events have occurred in the past, too. H who are you? This girl fell down near the spring. She doesn't remember who she is. Probably scrap metal now. Just one thing. I've heard about some kind of special mushroom? That supposedly helps recover one's memories if eaten. I wonder if that'll maybe work on this poor girl too. I know where to get that mushroom. We're gonna go through that in just a minute. I just have to remember how to actually get there. been at Mimiga village. That which misery brought me here. I really dislike farming. I'm gonna go clear my head with some fishing for a little bit. Do you like the fish? If there's another chance, maybe I'll bump into you again? This doll. Jail number two. The doctor can eat it. Let us out here. The moon are working on the farm are being tricked by the doctor. He's planning on making us fight the killer robots from the surface. Do you know a Sakamoto person? She should be hiding in the plantation somewhere. Oh look, there's a teleporter. The destination is unknown. Do you wish to teleport? Yes? Aha! There's something there we need for Kelly. A 
Oh, hi, Professor Busto. Nice to see you're still here. So we need to go to the cemetery. Because there's a secret room. Well, it's not really secret, but we couldn't get to it before. That one. It's very important. You got some business with me? Hmm, amnesia? Oh, that's so... that's terrible! Do you want the mushroom badge? But you don't really need it then. Oh, I see then. What? Yes. No. Wait. You really do want it? Yes. You really want it no matter what? Yes. No. Well then, I'll give it to you. Obtain the mushroom badge. A mushroom badge obtained from Ma Pignon. It serves no purpose. Found me out. That's just a normal badge. Say what? You say you're gonna eat me? I'm a very, very valuable mushroom. And the only one in this cave, too. Snip. Don't think for one minute that I'll let you eat me without putting up a fight. It's on. Wait, you said there was only one of you! Ow! You're a mean mushroom. Aww. When did I save it last? Terrible. Let's go back and fight the main mushroom. Oh, there's a treasure chest up there that I couldn't reach before. Ow. Save here. Then we'll go fight that mushroom again. No, I went up. There we go. Okay. 
Hi. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Thank you. Now we open it. See, it does nothing. And we talk to him again. Bounce him out. We're gonna eat you up. Yay! Much better that time. I've lost! Obtained Ma Pignon. So if we go back to the bushlands and use the teleporter there, oh wait, we weren't in the labyrinth, we were in the plantation. So if we go back to the bushlands, we should be able to teleport back to the plantation. Fix Curly and then the robot girlfriend will feel all better. the Marpignon? Yes. We stuffed into Curly's mouth. Quote! Now I remember your name's Quote. You and I are, well, before a great number of us robots were sent to this island. We were sent by the countries of the surface. The purpose of the mission was the incredible slumbering power found on this floating island. 
And it was also about the demon crown. But you and I were different. We were sent on a mission to destroy that power. The island, it was in a mess when we landed. Ravaged by the robots. They murdered scores of poor little Mimica. It was horrible. And finally, one man seized the demon crown. The robot's mission was complete and the island fell into s and the island fell totally silent. But that was simply the beginning of the tragedy. The man who was able to capture the crown turned the mimica into beasts. And they began attacking the surface. I faced him and tried my best to defeat him. You were with me then. That's all I can remember. The crown bearer was surely injured by both our attacks at that time. How about you? Can you recall something? Anything? Her memory is back. Well, that's not very exciting. Well, I might take a break, and next time we'll continue on to the plantation. Once again, my name is Olivia, and this is Cave Story Plus, and until next time, have a safe journey.